Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the volume of a sphere. In order to find the volume of the sphere, you're going to use the formula volume equals four thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius. If you are given the diameter, remember that the relationship between the diameter and the radius is that the diameter equals two times the radius and your radius is equal to half of the diameter. So if you are given the diameter, make sure you find half of it before using this formula. We are given the radius, so we don't have to use that formula, but just in case you have that situation, I wanted to make sure you knew what to do. So all we would do is plug this in, so we would have volume is 4 thirds pi times 6 cubed. So make sure that you read your directions carefully. If it says to leave in terms of pi, then all you would do is plug in your values 4 thirds times 6 to the third power. And when you do that, you end up with 288 pi millimeters cubed. So make sure that when you put your units on volume, remember that it is um, whatever units you are working with cubed. And so this would be the exact answer. So this is our exact answer. And then for approximate answers, you have the choice to either use pi or you have the choice to use 3.14. They will give you slightly different answers. So do make sure that if they say use the pi button on your calculator that you use the pi button or it will not match up or if it says use 3.14 that you do so. Um, some programs allow both of them to be used so it's just a matter of um, reading the directions carefully. So for this one we would just do 4 thirds times 3.14 times 6 cubed and you would just plug that into your calculator and any calculator will allow you to do that. Um, when you use 3.14 you end up with approximately 904.32 millimeters cubed. And if you use pi in your calculator, so if you plug in and you actually use the programmed pi button in your scientific calculator, uh, with this, most calculators round to 13 floating points, so it takes it out to 13 decimal places, which is why it's a more accurate answer, because you have more decimal places. And when you plug that in, you get approximately 904.78 millimeters cubed. So if it asks you to round to the nearest hundredth or the nearest tenth, do notice that you get a different answers. So if you keep getting it wrong and you're working in an online platform, maybe just try and switch whether you're using pi or 3.14 and see if that fixes the problem because sometimes that will give you issues if the software that you are using is not programmed to take both answers. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.